Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul, your host as always. And I'm here basically to do my starting 11 that I would like to start against Gibraltar. So I will start off with Darren Randolph in goal. And I just feel as though Darren hasn't let us down. When called upon, I feel like he's been our best keeper for the last three years at least anyway. And uh, people will argue uh, Kieran Westford, Westwood's case. I understand the ragging, but I'm still looking at Darren. I think he's got 15 clean sheets this season. I think he's, he's been in brilliant form. And, you know, you look at the last round of games that we played against Northern Ireland and Denmark, and he was brilliant against them. So uh, if it wasn't for him, we would have lost against Northern Ireland as well. So I, don't, I think he should keep his place. And I think he's nailed on to be, well, the goalkeeper for the campaign for the time being, at least. Uh, I'd be very surprised if he gets dropped. For anybody else so uh, for me Darren Randolph in goal um, left back I would have Enda Stevens all day long I think he's been fantastic for Sheffield United this season he's just got overtaken as their top assister for the season I think he's eight clean sheets on the bounce and he's just he's exactly what we've been looking for um, with Stephen Ward after pulling out or sorry retiring so he's, he's pulled out of the squad completely for, for good now. So um, he's retired. So I think there's an opportunity there for Ender to make that position his own. People might say, you know, le left back's uh, more Robbie Brady's position. But for me, Ender Stevens there, I think now is his chance to take his claim for that short and uh, make it his own. And then to, just beside him there, I have his Sheffield United teammate, John Egan. I feel as though just because they they play together at club level, they seem like they're good mates, they seem like they have a good understanding. Um, that's the only reason I picked them because you look at Richard Kyo, he's he has a broken hand or something like that, and I don't know whether Mick will risk it against Gibraltar and he might decide to just go with Egan for this game and see how he fares. I think if he does come in, I think he'll be quite quite calm, composed on the ball, like he was against Poland for ourselves. Uh, and then beside him, I'd have Shane Duffy, our player of the year. Been fantastic for Brighton. Just got into the semi-final of the FA Cup. Has been immense uh, at the back. You know, he's never really let us down again. People might say in, in the in Euro 2016, he might have let us down. But other than that, he's, he's you know I mean, he has a take, take one for the team there anyway. But uh, yeah, Shane Duffy for me, uh, for me, he's going to be a future captain. He's just a, he's a leader, and you can see when he puts on the Irish shirt, he just gives it his all, and it means the world to him. And another person who is just the same characteristics to his right is Seamus Coleman, who you know what you're going to get with Seamus. He's a leader. He's our captain. I'd be very surprised if he's not chosen as captain. It would be it would be a shock to me. But Mick said if he is going to play, he would be his captain. So for me, Seamus Coleman right back has to be and then just in front of him I would have Matt Doherty uh, he's been unbelievable this season uh, tipped to be Premier League right back of the year he's, he's already in the current team of the season if you're to go by stats so I think he has to start for me he's, he's full of confidence he's buzzing in the press conference today he was just seemed to be really really enjoying his football at the moment and He's worked with Mick before in the past, so for me it makes so much sense just to have him playing right midfield. He says if if he has to adapt, he will, so I, I don't see why he shouldn't be playing in front of Seamus. People uh, have been, I think most fans have been in agreement there that if you got to play them both rather than dropping one and playing the other. you got to play them both. So for me, that's that's that side. And on the left midfield side, I'd have to go with Robbie Brady. People will argue uh, James McLean will get in there, but I just think Robbie Brady, he adds so much more from a set-piece point of view that, you know, Mick McCarthy's already kind of said that Shane Duffy will be someone who he, he'll be looking to use to exploit p p uh, opposition's defences. Uh, so, again, I think I think that will make sense if you to play Robbie on the, on the left. He might strike up a good, formidable partnership with Ender Stevens, which, you know, if you have Coleman and Doherty on one side and you have Brady and Stevens down the other, I mean, 
it's it, it, it does look well all of a sudden it doesn't look so negative anymore you know so that's that's my thoughts on that and again as i say he he offers a lot from his from a set piece point of view whereas i think if you leave robbie brady out you don't really have too much else from a set piece point of view a dead a dead ball specialist so to speak so that's that's my take on things there and then in midfield i would go for a two man midfield i'm going for a 442 formation almost 4-1 4-4-1-1 so i'm going to go with Harry Arthur and Jeff Hendrick for this game. I do believe that if it was a different game, I might have included Glenn Whelan in there, maybe against Georgia, but we'll focus on that maybe close to the time to see how Harry Arthur and Jeff Hendrick get on under Mick McCarthy. I think they're two players that weren't really showing a lot of love under the last manager. And, you know, when Martin O'Neill came out and said things like, I don't think our players can play, I think it, that really got into the head of the likes of Jeff Hendrick. So, you know, look, the Harry Arthur's uh, and that of this world had their disagreements with the with the old management, and it's a new man. It's a new manager coming in, and it's a lot more positive around the camp, and they all seem to be enjoying themselves. So I think, from that point of view, that's my um, that's my midfield, and then up top I would hundred percent have Sean Sean Maguire. I just think is I think he's our best striker. I think it's, this is the first time probably he's came into the fold after playing a few games, confident coming in. So I think this is a game set up for him to get a couple of goals if he can and really make a claim to make that number nine shirt his own or number 10 or whatever you want to call it. If that striker's jersey to be the first name on the team sheet when it comes to goals. If you look at all the, the strikers in the squad, there's only one of them has a goal and say no Brian. And for me, he doesn't get in this certain eleven. Just simply down to the fact that I think that Sean McGuire is is is, is more lethal as a striker than O'Brien. I do think O'Brien is a useful squad player, but I do believe Sean McGuire can really take his opportunity, and he seems quite confident in doing so. And then just beside him or behind him, if you if you want, I would have David McGoldrick again. Another player who's worked with Mick, like Matt Doherty. Um, he knows what Mick wants from him. Um, he, ha he has had a pretty good season so far. And, you know, he's deservedly back in the squad for his form. So I think my, yeah, my 11th player is David McGoldrick. And I think you can see why his goals, what his, the shift, he, you know, he'll put in. You know, and, and you can always find time then to bring someone like, I don't know, for 3 4 nil up, why not bring a Jack Byrne on or someone like that? So that's that's my take on things. Uh, that's been my stand in 11. Let us know yours in the comments. And um, yeah, just, I'd like to hear who you guys would like to start uh, versus Gibraltar. So let us know your thoughts in the comment. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we've reached 5k now and we're just going to keep on trying to get higher and higher and higher. So uh, yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks.